we all do this mistake without realizing its seriousness and its repercussions. But if you do this mistake after taking the decision that you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia, this mistake can cost you your dream. So which is that mistake? I'll talk about it in detail. But before that, let me introduce myself. I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries and I regularly upload videos every week. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, it's not a very pretty background, uh, but because the sun is towards my back and uh, I'm getting a quite good sunlight in my on my face at the moment, so it's fine. Anyways, let's start with a mistake that we all do. Procrastination. Yes. This is the big mistake that we do and this mistake can cost you your dream. I meet so many people actually uh, nowadays. You know, I met a friend uh, in my office back in July or August. He asked me about the process. He was already quite aware of the process. So he said that he's got the transcripts and uh, he's going to get the, you know, get the IELTS done. But I met him again just a month back and uh, I asked him what's the progress. He said, still the same. Uh, I asked why he said because I was quite busy you know I had to my project was supposed to go live my wife was also doing busy so she couldn't go through you know she couldn't prepare aisles and things like that but it's not just him I see so many people doing this mistake without realizing that this mistake can actually cost you a dream you know we all are busy in our daily lives we have our office issues you know indians have this tendency of working so hard in office late till night and we don't have time to pre prepare for ielts you know go to our university and ask them to uh, you know deliver the transcripts to uh, wes all these things go on with our lives but we don't understand the importance of time people ask me the future of express entry the future of Express Entry is pretty bright. Canada has declared the plans for next three years until 2021. That going to take you know more than one million uh, candidates. Uh, but this does not mean that the uh, future will actually be bright for you. In 2017, the score went as low as 415. But after that, it has never gone down to that point. It is in 2018. It has it hasn't even gone down below 439. So yes, their decision of taking so many people. But you know, more and more people are getting to know about this Canadian immigration, Australian immigration, and uh, you know, more educated lot is getting into it. So uh, you know, if people have got some master's degree or PhD, of course they will have you know higher scores. So you don't want to do this mistake of that so many people do. Don't procrastinate things. Okay, I'll give you my own example. My score was 432 back then in uh, April 2017. Of course, it would reduce by five, six points every year. I luckily I didn't procrastinate my decision of uh, you know immigrating to Canada, and uh, I was you know pretty active in getting things done, in getting my IELTS done, and uh, you know in getting my transcripts, getting it approved from uh, WES, all of this, all of this. If I had procrastinated this thing just by one and a half months I would have still been in India because it never went down below 432 after the month of June so this is the thing guys it is the importance of time that many of us don't understand you know we, we feel that okay uh, we have got we have given one or two different attempts of IELTS but uh, we didn't get our desired bands I haven't got the energy I haven't got the time to do it okay you never know if you can get it done in the next one month you can get the idea in very next week right and you could be packing your bags in the next six months and you've been in Canada in the next uh, in the seventh month now this is the thing that is very important and you need to realize don't procrastinate you know I know if you have given IELTS multiple times and you're not getting your desired bands it's very frustrating it's very irritating but you haven't got any options right either go for self paper or anything like that but we haven't got many options so don't procrastinate things, especially if you're talking for the, in the terms of uh, immigration of express entry, if you're talking of Canada. Uh, even if I talk of Australia, you know, back in 2015, I think the, the score, the eligibility score was 55. Now it has increased to 65. You never know in the upcoming future, it would go to 70, which is which would be very difficult for people to score. Even at 65, you know, you won't get uh, the invitation so early. So this is the thing that you know don't procrastinate things yes express entry is gonna stay here 
but you never know the score where it's going to go you know it might come down even to 430 you know 425 maybe uh, but uh, there are chances that you know it might not come down below 440 just like 2018 so this is my recommendation and this is my advice to you guys that don't procrastinate things uh, get your transcripts uh, get your IELTS done and of course you would be on the right path to your dream so thank you guys for watching this video if you think this advice was useful to you please click the like button and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it right now